quella sì. lì è la Carlotta, è quella bianca. Ah, ah si, sì. ah, okay. ah, ok, è vicino. Oh, right there, right there, there. Villa, Villa Carlotta. Si, si, bello. I giardini di Villa Carlotta. Wow. wow. Yes. Just some street food so, before yeah. we get into our Airbnb. The best. It's so delicious. I love this pizza place. The specific pizza with the potatoes and the Ham or prosciutto and the onions is so good, cheesy. This one's just a margherita. Perfect. Buongiorno. <laughs> our pretty view from our little Airbnb in Bellagio. Now, when you see a view like this, you know that you've officially arrived. So we're going to settle in, and then later we are going out. Oh if you guys followed us on our mother-daughter trip last year, we came here for the first time, and we fell in love with it. So we are back. Once again in Bellagio, oh my gosh. One of the most beautiful places in the world. We came back. Probably my favorite Hello. place. To Bellagio. So nice here. Yeah. Lago di Como. I think like George peaceful. Clooney's here right now, guys, so we're yeah, gonna find our driver's yeah, side. Yeah, our driver's yeah. So yep. there you go. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be back in Bellagio, guys. Me I just too. It's like paradise, it's like heaven on earth. This beautiful scenery, like it just doesn't get old. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> and we're all together once Hi. again. Once again. I'm getting a delicious gelato. This is my favorite gelateria, gelateria del Borgo. It, it makes the best gelato in Bellagio, guys. It is so good. I got nocciola and mediterraneo, which is like mandorla, almonds, and figs. Oh, it's so good. It's amazing. And I got, and I got pistacchio in mediterraneo. Mm. So good. And Jen got, I got stracciatella and mediterraneo. And mom got, oh, I don't know what I got. <laughs> I just tried this one. Chocolate yeah. and nocciola. Mm, it's so good. It's seriously the best freaking gelato mm. in Bellagio. It really is. It was like we were eating it with so much gusto. For me, okay, I'm just, don't, I hate to admit this, but I'm not really a gelato person because I love cheese more. <laughs> I'm more salty than, than sweet, but I am loving this gelato. It is. It's so good. And it's true because she doesn't really ever get gelato. <laughs> but you can trust me, I guys. Blast this you can way. trust me. And look at this view. We're walking down. Wow. Look, this interesting bird made a little nest up here. And then look at these little guys. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's cute. So that's what we were seeing when we saw those people dressed like uh, old school. <laughs> oh, the Spanish invasion. Our very late breakfast this morning looks so nice. Cappuccino. Yeah, Hotel Florence in the line. Hotel Florence. It's very lovely. We're gonna also get a piece of cake too. A nice little almond cake. Yeah, I dig it. Looks so good. Good. With my nice cappuccino. Mmm. I love cappuccino for breakfast. Perfect. We had uh, the perfect time because we had oh, a super so late nice. breakfast. As soon as we bought the tickets, oh. the boat was ready. So we're on our way to Tremezzo and going to Villa Carlotta today. And we literally could not have timed it better. And we also slept in because poor Julia hasn't slept at all during this trip. No, the first two nights I literally went to bed so late. So I fell asleep at like 6 a.m. one of these nights. So I don't know. I finally got to sleep in, and now we're just enjoying this beautiful oh, view, guys. It's amazing. Why don't you take your favorite sister? Hi. <laughs> Definitely recommend Lake Como if you just want oh, to feel like you're in paradise. Stunning. <laughs> Bye, Bellagio. Bye for now. We are on our way to a villa. But how gorgeous is Bellagio, guys? Look at this row of trees when you walk along the area of Bellagio. Oh my gosh, stunning. I absolutely love it. Oh. 
vlogger today and we are going to Tremezzo to visit Villa Carlotta. Lisa is holding my hat right now because it may fly off in the boat. It is gorgeous here. We are in Como. It is about a 10 to 15 minute boat ride from Melangio. It cost around 5 euros a person there and then 5 euros back I would say. We're arriving in Tremezzo and I believe that this is the villa. Going into Villa Carlotta. Wow, I want a picture right here. Okay, go up. Look at all these little cherry dolls. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see that butterfly, but it's gorgeous. Look at this view from this villa. Oh my gosh. We are in Villa Carlotta. One of the most stunning villas I've ever seen. We did Balbianello last year, so this year we wanted to do something different. So we did Villa Carlotta of Tremezzo. I think this might actually be more beautiful. I mean, I don't uh, know. No. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. They're both it's just, they're, they're, they're different. They're different. They're different. You know, yeah, every the villa, the gardens, the gardens here, yeah, here, the gardens stunning, here is stunning. Like but it's incomparable, you know? Yes. <laughs> Martian Venus and Alif and the Venus. Oh my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> it's like a little heart shape. It's a little heart shaped. Aww. Aww. Look how pretty it is in here, guys. Oh my gosh, look stunning. Look, look at the, the ceilings. ceilings. Wow. Gorgeous. There's people there, but look. Oh my gosh. Cute. Yes, this is famous. Oh my gosh, stunning. Ah, oh, this is cute. Aw. See, look how handsome and romantic the guys were back then. The Last Kiss of Romeo and Juliet, wow. L'Ultimo Bacio di Romeo e Giulietta, 1823 by Francesco Hayes. Look how gorgeous this is, wow. Cupid and Psyche, Amore e Psyche. Wow, this is gorgeous, look at that, oh my gosh, so pretty. Beautiful. I know, it's so romantic. This beautiful villa and we just love it. It's we said so we have to do a villa a day. It's amazing. This villa has a special place in my heart because it's so romantic and sentimental. It's full of beautiful romantic art pieces. Every corner is picturesque and Instagrammable. There's beautiful like romantic sculptures Gorgeous. everywhere. It's very oh. romantic and just like beautiful. And, and it was really easy to get to. With Balbianello you had to do a hike or you had to take the boat, which we did, which I recommend. Especially from Bellagio, it's super This close. one, where the ferry so drops easy. you off, you literally just cross right the street, street and you're in. And it's a 10 dollars. minute ferry ride. It $10 was, to get it, 10 euro to get it. It was 10 euros a person. Stars, love you. <laughs> And you know what the really nice thing about this villa is? Is that there are a significantly less amount of people than at Villa Balbianello of last year. There was way more people and it was so hard to get like a really nice shot. But at this villa there's so many less people so there's so many nice quiet areas where you can go to and there's not a single person around which is so nice and it's just so peaceful here. It's stunning, it was easy to get to, so I highly recommend this villa as well. Of course, we did Villa Balbinella last year. In my vlog, you would have probably already seen it from Lake Como, so I'll link that vlog down below. But this year, since we came back, we're still trying to do different things. So, I mean, this is stunning, guys. Look around, like, if this isn't someone's idea of paradise, I don't know what is. Wow. Look at the ceiling in here, oh my god. <laughs> Ceilings. 
Bloxworth and Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Doesn't that remind you of them? That is so cute. Yeah. That but that reminds me of uh, the Titanic. Yeah, it does actually. Before there was Rose. Before there was Rose, there was this lady. <laughs> Dining room with that ceiling. Look at those. Oh, I love these ceilings. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at, look at the crib, oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. It's like kind of ghostly. But look at it, baby's old. Ascolta il mio suono, listen to my music. Wow. When love live and die? Oh my gosh. When? That's true. Live it, that's to die. Wow. <laughs> that's very cute. <laughs> hear enough of those every morning. <laughs> so cute. Look at these cute cacti. Oh, adorable. There's so much to this villa. Who, who knew? The Valle delle Felci. This is stunning. Oh, it's so fresh here. Oh, that's so cute. There's a little waterfall. Oh my god, the waterfall. Look at that. Wow, look at these stunning flowers, guys. Oh my gosh, so pretty. These gardens here are beautiful. This tree, I guess, comes from Canada. Wow. Look what it says. It's from Canada. Wow. Yeah. La Topita. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Once upon a time, there was a child who had a passion for nature, a great love shared with all his family. One day, they began to build a small cozy house with all the materials they could find in the woods, following only their imagination, La Topita. Once finished, it became their secret refuge, a place to spend happy time together, remembering fantastic adventures. Who knows, maybe do you have lovely memories of your childhood too? Wow, this is the bamboo area, so there's all bamboo lining everywhere basically. Look how cool. All this bamboo. Look at this grand hotel Tremezzo, okay? Just look how stunning this is. Wow. gosh just even walking to find a restaurant like can you just can you look at this view I just I can't believe it I'm absolutely in love yeah. having a nice lunch here in Tremezzo we are at this restaurant called red and white it's a little wine bar with this gorgeous view so pretty and of course our spritz guys at every uh, every lunch spot we got to get a spritz look at this beautiful bruschetta mmm looks so delicious Jen got a nice salad. Wow, that looks amazing. We got some yeah. pizza. Oh, that pizza looks good. And we're just waiting for our caprese salad now because I also got a caprese salad with my bruschetta. Mm, this is what I wanted, something fresh. With this view. Okay, my caprese salad came. Oh my gosh. Oh, heaven. Heaven. Mm. That bufala is amazing. It's so good, the bufala, eh? Um, this is my truck. Guys, see Villa Balbinello's all the way down there on that tip right over there. 
Delicious gelato from Gelateria del Borgo. Oh my gosh, I got pistacchio, mandorlata, it was like an almond dessert one, and malaga, which is similar to rum and raisin. Oh, I love this gelato, guys. It is the best from right there. As you can see, I'll be getting my gelato here every day. <laughs> what is see, it? I told you she's crazy. She got a popsicle and you get this delicious gelato. <laughs> you want something fresh? No, no, wrong. there's nothing like gelato. This is I'm my sorry. favorite gelato. I love it's it. Mango. Mango. Oh god. When you could have pistachio, mandolas, all these good flavors. Uh, she I made want, a mistake. I want burrata. <laughs> yeah. I said a gen can get mozzarella di bufala in a cup, she would. Oh, I absolutely <laughs> would. So we had such a gorgeous day today. We honestly Beautiful. said it was like one of our favorite days so, so far. Nice. So magical, so memorable. And we just really appreciate being here and like the experience and even being able to come back from last year because we fell in love with Lake Como last Absolutely. year for the first time and now we just can't get enough of it, guys. We're gonna come back all the time. <laughs> so peaceful here. This is definitely one of my favorite places in all of Italy and we've seen a lot of Italy. Yeah, you guys definitely have to come here. It's so nice. We're just relaxing now because it is actually supposed to rain tonight, overnight, and a little bit in the morning. So we're kind of just gonna have a chill night and a chill morning, and then catch up on our sleep. Yeah. We're still a little bit jet lagged. We yeah. can go, go, go. We've been having weird sleeping patterns where we can't sleep and we get super giddy at yeah. night. Yeah, but otherwise, actually, the weather's great. It's actually hot during the day, but it's not unbearable. It's actually nice in the shade, and then at night, it's fresh. It's just beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. Also, Gorgeous. With these views, I mean, there's something magical about Como. Yeah. It's and just, Bellagio yeah. in particular. It's like something else. It's just, if you're probably watching this vlog, you're probably thinking about coming here. Oh, you oh. should. Just come. <laughs> just do it. It's gorgeous. It's just. And Bellagio is really nice to stay in, even yeah. with other really cute towns. Yeah, there's the cute towns. ferries are quick. You yeah. can take a ferry ride and go to the next town super quickly. It's easy. Yeah, yeah. So, Bellagio's my favorite. But yeah, I think Bellagio's I would recommend staying in Bellagio, Bellagio and then just doing the ferry to other towns. It's our home base. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the best. So. There you go guys. Wanna see it? Ciao. Good night.